Chucky. What do you think? The gree gree work? You know, when I came here learning all that stuff about how to beat death, I thought maybe you were pulling my chain. But not now. Uh-uh. Not now. Only one problem. What? This. I didn't think anybody could hurt me. But last night I got shot. You know something? It hurt. It hurt like a son of a bitch had even bled. And why is that, John? You're turning human. What? The more time you spend in that body, the more human you become. You mean I have to live out the rest of my life in this body? No fucking way! You got me into this, you get me out. I can't do that, Chucky. Why not? Because you're an abomination. An outrage against nature! You perverted everything I've taught you and used it for evil, and you have to be stopped! You know, I thought something like this might happen. That's why I prepared for it. What are you talking about? Your own personal mojo, Doc. Give me that. Sure, how do you want it? Broken leg? Oh! Shouldn't tell your customers where you hide things like this, John. Gets you in trouble every time. Now how do I get out of this body? No, I won't tell you. Yeah? Oh! Tell me you died, John. Your choice. No, no, I, I'll tell you. You have to transfer your soul out of the dark. Into the, that of the first human being you revealed your true self to. You mean the first person I let in on the fact that I was really alive? <laughs> I don't believe it. I just don't believe it. The first person I let in on my little secret was a six-year-old kid. I'm gonna be six years old again. Well, John, it's been fun, but I gotta go. I have a date with a six-year-old boy. You have a date with death. Oh! So long, John.